So who goes, who joins your partner call? You're not going on a call by yourself. Come on, Steven. But you lied. To the reporter, I did, yes. So I agree what you're saying. However, you're insinuating that I'm not insinuating. I'm stating, Randy quite Wassenaar. frankly, that the text objectively, I have no grind. I'm not, you know, I'm here just objectively looking at this and I don't find your testimony credible, sir. So it's your testimony today that an autocorrect was the cause of all of this confusion? Is that what you're... And the last one I'm not, I won't name. I, I simply will not name them just based on the turmoil that I have gone okay. through that I don't want them I, I would put to you that sure. your turmoil is becoming more complicated with your... Mr. Anderson, my questions will be for you this round. I'm going to put them in a rather rapid fire way. I may interject to take back the time. I'm not trying to be rude, but I would respect if you just cut your answer short and allow me to ask the next question. Take me back to the plane ride. You're on a plane with a minister or a, a person that used to be an MP. You sit down, you get chatting, and then from that conversation, you develop a multi-million dollar company. No, um, tell me, like, after that conversation, what happens next? It was 2019. Um, private citizen Boisnold was flying back from Bolivia, I believe. Uh, he was down for an election. There was an election. He was part of a coalition. Um, I was flying back to Edmonton. I was in the import-export business for wholesale sports. I, I owned an import and export sporting goods equipment retail. And there was COVID-19 was just starting out and I had an import export license and we were talking about the needs of what um, parts of the world were facing and that there was a potential that this virus could come to Canada. Okay. That was the initial so I, I, I respect that and I understand that you had some involvement uh, with hockey sales and hockey equipment as well. Hopefully some things, some matters that have been resolved between you and an organization. With Mr. Bosino though, you had the experience in import export he had a past experience in government. Together, you saw this opportunity. You seized upon it. You formed a partnership. Is that correct? Correct. It was a 50-50 partnership? Correct. He was not operational. He was operational in 2020 and 2021. And in the structure of your organization, who reported to whom? Uh, none. We reported to each other. Did you report to anybody at any given time? So you were a principal, he was a principal, it was 50-50. At the height of your operations, what was the revenue? Uh, at the height, um, 35 million. So out of that, what would the compensation look like in dividends between the two owners? <clears throat> I can't speak to um, his compensation. Um, you would have to ask him that. Well, you, um, I mean, respectfully, you can, because you're here as a principal but officer. I, I am a principal, but at the end and of the day, I would never respectfully what was yours? someone else's. How about that? 220000 50 50 it's safe to assume his was the same? Yes. Okay. Now, with that being said, um, you're in a situation... You'll note that Mr. Bosino at committee actually testified that he wasn't really starting a new business. He was resuming another business that he'd had for 15 years prior, um, you know, which is, to, to my understanding, in conflict with a recent Le Devoir article that stated he was in journalism, but that's probably for another conversation. So you brought the operational expertise of import and export. So I you would have been in the export. You would have been dealing business. with wire transfers and, and shipping and receiving and all of that stuff, correct? Correct. But yet in the text messages... Let's set aside what the person's name is. You seem to be reporting to somebody. You seem to be needing the direction from somebody who is ultimately making decisions. Who at that time would have been making decisions in your company? So in 2022, was solely me was the one making decisions. However, we were working with our accountants as well as with our bankers and as well as our shipping and logistics. I am telling you, we are not allocating like this. Please reach out and see what the reason is now. You assured me this morning this was done first thing. Be available in 15 for a partner call. You were, you were being, I think, directed, I think it's safe to say, to join a partner call. Who would have been the partner at that time, sir? I, I disagree with, I agree with the context of what you're saying, but I would say that you can look at all communications, which I've offered to this committee. Mr. Anderson, I've had an accountant before. An accountant would never, in a client uh, a business relationship, 
speak to me that way in a text, sir. Who was it that you were reporting to? Who was the other principal? I was reporting to no one else. Be available in 15 for a partner call. Do you agree that that text message is a valid text message, yes or no? I agree what you're saying, however you're in insinuating that I'm not I was insinuating, I'm stating Randy quite Wasnold. frankly that the text objectively, I have no, I'm not, you know, I'm here just objectively looking at this and I don't find your testimony credible, sir. And I'll tell you why. Because it says, be available in 15 minutes for a partner call. Only a partner or a principal in a dynamic and that kind of communication style could demand you to be on a call. Is that not a safe, objective statement to make? I would say from your question, yes, but, it, but Minister Boisnold was never involved in 2022. Who was the other, who, what partners did you have after that? In 2022, um, with Global Healthcare Solutions, there was five that we were managing within the business. How many of them were named Randy? There was no Randy involved with Global Healthcare Solutions. What about the other company? Global Health, Global Health Imports, there was a Randy. Uh, Randy Boisenold was involved till September of 2021. Did Mr. Boisenold maintain his 50% share? Because I've heard you use very specific language. You said he was not operational in his role. Correct. Was he still a fiduciary on the, on the company? Was he still receiving dividends? No. He didn't receive a penny after that? After 2021, no. Okay. So it's your testimony today that an autocorrect was the cause of all of this confusion? Is that what you're... I am saying that, yes, the, I, have, I will certainly give the information and the person's name if the committee wants it in camera. It is I want to I know, you seem to know pretty clearly where Mr. Uh, Barrett was going with his line of questioning. Uh, I, I would put to you that, to me, objectively, it would seem that you are validating the, the legitimacy of those text messages. Those are real text messages, correct? broken sporadically, but they are text messages to Melvina Gowie, yes. Right. Mr. And Green. is that it? Oh, I was just getting started. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Green. Gaines. We're going to... Uh, Mr. Vilmir, the minute the... Uh... Mr. Vilmir, you have two and a half minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I'd like to uh, give my time to my colleague from the NDP. Five minutes. Thank Go you ahead. very much, and thank you uh, to my friend from the block. It was reported in the original uh, reports that the um, other Randy was the head of logistics. It was, it was a head of logistics. Do you recall that? You ambiguously admitted to working with another Randy identified only as the head of logistics. Is that correct? That is the story. That is what was that published. That is the story. Yes. That is what was published, yes. That is the story. Is that what you said? I was contacted by a blocked phone number. This is probably June. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact date. I was contacted by someone calling and asking me, um, was Rand is Randy there? I said, no. They went on to say, does Randy Brosnold work at the operation? I said, no, they don't. They identified as Kristen Poon, or sorry, not Kristen Poon, as Krista Hesse from Global News. I admit that I did panic when she said, is there another Randy? I so you lied? To the reporter, I did, yes. So I appreciate that. I actually do. Maybe it's the first truth I've heard today. I do appreciate that. And I say that because that is a far leap from an autocorrect. So you're now admitting on the record, it's important you do that, by the way, because you do have to respect mm -hmm. the, um, the standing orders of the House of Commons when asked direct questions, that in fact, there was no other Randy of logistics now your testimony has changed. Now your testimony is that it was an autocorrect. Is the autocorrect still listing a head of logistics? Or have we determined that, in fact, there is no head of logistics or that they weren't involved in that conversation? So if you're referring to was I talking about Randy Boisnold? It's not what I asked. I'll ask you directly. Who's responsible for the head of logistics? Edward. Edward, mm -hmm. far cry from Randy. Yes. Okay. When you, when you flip back and forth between GHI, GHI is the partnership 50-50 that you had with Mr. Bosino, correct? Correct. And the nature of that corporation, was that broken down into shares? 
it was. So when it dissolved, how did that um, dissolution of the corporation or dissolution of Mr. Bosino's shares happen? So the company is not dissolved. How did Mr. Bosino step away financially from the organization? Mr. Did you pay him out? No. This is a $35 million uh, revenue company. He was making 200 and a quarter a year. It's your testimony that he walked without any financial compensation? No. Randy Boisenault's, Randy Boisenault's involvement in global health imports, to my understanding, is that his portion of, the, of his ownership was moved into a trust or... or so he still owns? Uh, Randy is not operational in the business, but, he still but I did not buy him out, if that's what your testimony Correct. Is. Yeah, because you would know that there would be filings for this, right? I didn't buy him out. Fair enough. Um, $35 million company, you're each making two and a quarter a year. Randy steps away because he's elected. His, his investments are now in trust. Uh, in that trust, as the owner, as your, and your, is it still the case that you annually receive $250,000? Is that salary or is that dividends? There has been no payments um, since, September, since 2022, since the incident that occurred in Edmonton. Because there's been no business? The business hasn't been operating um, right. since 2022. What was left in the bank prior to that? Prior to what date? Prior to the one you just gave. So we have been non-operational as we Is there money in, in, a, in a holding account somewhere pending civil litigation? Uh, there's, there is money in court that being has held. been held in court um, pending the outcome of the litigation. So you also haven't been paid out. It's, it's frozen, is that correct? That is correct. Who are the other five partners at Global Health Solutions? It was... Managing, managing employees that were there. Shana, the question is, who are the other five there partners? There was no other partners listed on the registry, just me. For GHS, no other partners? Listed on the filings, no. So no other partners in GHS, no other partners in GHI. You have a partner call. You've only had one partner ever on the record. That was Randy Bosino. We had managing, managing directors in the company that were not But a director's not, not a partner. Ag agreed. So who, goes, who joins your partner call? You're not going on a call by yourself. Come on, Stephen. No, there is five individuals, excuse me, there is five individuals that would be involved in any decision deal making that we were making. Who are they? One was Shauna Parker, one was Felix, Felix Papineau, one was Edward, and the last one I'm not, I won't name. I, I simply will not name them just based on the turmoil that I have gone right. through that I don't want them I, I would put to you that Sorry. your turmoil is becoming more complicated with your testimony. I would put that to you. You have the opportunity to put this to rest right now. You could have done it three months ago. I don't want to be here. You could have done it three months ago. You could have brought out the other Randy, and you could have just laid all this to rest, but here we are. Mr. Green, you're over time. Thank you. <laughs>